a mile long drive into the heart of darkness. When the bullets stopped, police clambered into the cab of the driver. Who was he? Why did he do it? Inside, police found his ID, a bank card and a driver's licence, with a name and an address. The name, Mohamed Lachwe Boulel. The address, Rue de Turin, some 15 minutes from the city centre. He lived in a first floor apartment. His neighbours spoke about him today. He's a handsome man, going grey, in his 30s. I would say he was someone who was pleasing to women. We wouldn't have guessed anything about him at all. He was always alone. I always saw him alone, but he went back and forth often. I've been living here for four months and I am still getting settled and I often saw him during the day. But he was frightening. He didn't have a frightening face, but a frightening look. A look. A cousin of his wife told the Mail Online he was not religious, didn't pray or observe Ramadan. She went on to say that he would beat his wife, was, quote, a nasty piece of work. A couple of miles across town, the police were looking into the whereabouts of friends and family. Not without facing down some hostility from neighbours. The French prosecutor is still giving more details, but this is what we know so far of Lachwe Boulel. He's 31 and divorced. He was born in Tunisia. He was a chauffeur and delivery driver. He had a criminal record with domestic violence and threatening behaviour. Four years ago, Mohamed Mera, another criminal, killed seven people in Toulouse and Montauban. Today we spoke to his brother. His take, the extremists in the big suburban housing projects cash in on a narrative of victimisation and racism. They want to defend Islam, that's for sure. In the projects, the Salafists have taken over. The police have lost their standing. These young men have pinned their future and their dreams on Islam. And I must say, Islamic State or Daesh and their supporters use the narrative of racism, racism that they're suffering from. There's something inherently futile about trying to profile the kind of person who does this. Security services have to, to establish patterns, find evidence. For the rest of us, though, we do it to try to make some sense out of the senselessness of it all.